Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here from PRL, I'm one of the engineers, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about what makes the design of our air oil separator a little bit more special than some of the other stuff on the market. So how a typical catch can operates is you have your inlet flow going from the valve cover, and you have your outlet flow going to the intake manifold. As the air oil mixture travels into the can and down, uh, the oil gets separated from the air, and then you have clean air going straight to your intake manifold. So, what makes the PRL can different than what else is on the market? Boom, you have your helix. As your air and oil mixture enters the can, it travels along the helix, as well as gets flung out to the inner wall of the can, where the separated oil can then condense and collect into the lower reservoir. Once the lower reservoir is full, it's about four fluid ounces, you can go ahead and drain it all using the pack on. Due to the direct injection nature of these platforms, in more mild cases, we see oil pooling in the intake tracts, as well as carbon buildup on the intake valves over time, because you don't get that natural cleaning that you generally get with port injection. When you move to a slightly more extreme scenario, as the oil vapors make it into the combustion chamber, you get a decrease in the octane rating of the air-fuel mixture, which can cause an incomplete or possibly inefficient burn. In the most extreme of cases, typically in higher horsepower applications, the decrease in the octane rating of the air-fuel mixture can actually cause detonation and thus engine failure. So the universal kit, pretty much good to go. It's going to be available very shortly. Um, as far as the platform specific kits, we're tying up some odds and ends just to maintain that perfect fitment that's synonymous with the PRL name. Um, and once that's ready, should be good to go. So please keep an eye on our social media for when the product release drops and uh, have a good day guys.